Hi one, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, if Johnson Sakaja is not careful, then the Nairobi count Ascaris are so much determined to make him a one-term governor. This is going to happen. And the way he's reluctant, the way he's approaching on the message that is being done by this count Ascaris, it confirms also that he is also prepared to serve just for one term. The problem are becoming so numerous. We have had, had other stories to do with the parking. Talk about hawkers. Yes, we understand that we have law that guide the operations in Nairobi. We have specific operation zones. But the fact remains that in as much you are sorting out the problem and dealing with the lawbreakers, there is also a way to do it. There is a very hurting video that is now trending where a hawker was captured crying, tears running, after the Nairobi count Ascari throw his groundnuts on the ground. Ni kama wali mpiga, waka chukua njugu zake, waka mwaga chini. They literally poured everything down. So the man broke into tears. Because he knew that is the only capital he has. Let me put it this way. Between him and life, that is the only capital maybe he had. And that's why you see the tears running down. Is that how Count Ascaris should operate? I just asked myself that question. Is that how to restore law and order? Or we have become, we have become a country of lawlessness? <laughs> Now we are continuing this panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel subscribers. Master, thank you so much, and again to all our viewers. Please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, after looking at that video, is that the way to enforce the law? Why not arrest the hawker if he was so much resistant and present him in the court of law? Then he will be charged. So who is right there and who is wrong? If the hawker was wrong, the Nairobi counter Ascari too was also much wrong. How do you grab someone's item, then you splash it on floor, on the road? How does that one happen? Then you say that you are restored. Sasa tena kutakuwa na mutu wakuja kuokota uchafu. Again, you come and clean this. Is that the way to go? Kwa ni tunayishu in which century? Which century? William Samoy Ruto has impoverished Kenyans. People are just having even their last meal. Tomorrow they don't know what they will eat. Some are stranded, they have totally nothing. And because some people have been rendered jobless in the manner in which this government is working, Adam and Hakua Hoka and Hakua Hoka. Umefana kila mutu, imebili tu ikuwe ni hand to mouth. So the last meal he had, the last capital between him and life, 
It has just gone down. The rain will come and it will sweep. There is no way to recover this. So that tells you that we have rogue count Ascaris operating in Nairobi. Very rogue. And these are officers working on behalf of Nairobi governor Johnson Sakaja. Sakaja. Unitua what these rogue people. Inhumane officers. And what is their main work? Is this what Sakaja wanted them to do? Is this the kind of operation he was looking for? These individuals are going to make Sakaja a one-term governor. Hata hita isha kwa amani. Sababu, mambo kama haya amani kwa wapi? Hata hiyo term haita isha kwa amani. And you should be aware, when you have such a rogue Ascaris, who is funding them? Unless if you have sick people and sick in their brain, but come and want to work on Achilles out. And they are doing such things. Then it means someone somewhere who is Sakaja's opponent is funding this individual to go and lead such kind in, of inhumane operations within Nairobi. That is what I want to conclude here. And I've seen Eric Komond posting something. This is what he's saying. Of course, as of now, after the 2022 general election, Eric Komond, who is a comedian, turned into a philanthropist. That is what he's doing as of late. And I am sure he has helped so many people. This is what he's saying. Wakimwaga, tuna okota. Wakibomoa, tuna jenga. I'm looking for this boy, but our time is coming. This is Kwasisi, changing one life at a time. That is El Komonde. So he's looking for the boy so that he can help him in whichever way, even using the platform he has. And he is giving a warning. Our time is coming. I don't know where Sakaja will be when that time will come. Because you cannot do this one every time to people. And you think that everything is as usual. Mamba sio sawa. Mamba ya na wakati wake itafika. Then I have seen also PS for State Department for Micro, Small and Medium Enterprise Development, Susan Uma. She is also reacting on the same. She is asking Kenyans to help her in tracing the street vendor whose stock was destroyed by this Nairobi County Ascaris. She's condemning that also. And this is what he's saying. Dear compatriots, I implore your assistance in locating this hustlers, hustler whose endeavors and livelihood have been detrimentally impacted. Now she's looking for the boy. After the mess, Sakaja is yet to react on this. I look on what the national government is doing. Then I look on what the UDA governors are doing. It's not far. These people are doing the same thing. There is nothing like human heart. There's no humanity in them. So Sakaja is not far from Ruto. As far as this is so no difference. This rogue officer must take responsibility. His salary should be deducted and pay the losses there. And he has also to pay for the damages because he's wrong. He might be restoring law and order, but by which means following the law or going against the law. Sababu hapa alikuwa ametangaza vita. 
tunaongozwa na watu magaidi na hiki ni kitendo cha ugaidi it should be condemned by strongest terms possible hiki ni kitendo cha ugaidi yule jamani gaidi na kwa uniform because when you see officers they present the image of the government and so the kanjos in nairobi are representing the image of sakaja and the nairobi county government so why have such wrong people if this is a kind of treatment then tell me tuko na serikali tukianzia nairobi tuko na serikali sakaja must condemn this and this guy should take responsibility pay for damages and let it be a lesson to other people but as long as you allow this to continue then it means you have rubber stamped on that and that is going to be the norm hustlers are going to suffer they have been hurt so much hard this government does not care hustlers wako kwa kenya kwanza wako kwa azimio na wote wanaumia equally Whoever helped these people to elect these individuals in power messed with our country and this is now where we are